Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a good look at this little garden to go and see headquarters and compare it to this one as well. So both of these are brand new in the box. This is the third set of this that is available currently from the film which is still yet to be released. But as always what we'll do, we'll get them both open. So I'll rip this one open first. We'll take a good look at what is on the inside. That was a sticker sheet that came flying out which I was quite surprised about. So this is... A 7 plus, that'd be why, and this is a 4 plus, this won't have any stickers. So as normal, what we do, we take a look at the box artwork, go through the sticker sheet, and then through the instruction manual as well. On both sets, I'll get them both built, then we'll compare the sets and the minifigures as well. So this is LEGO Marvel set 76253, it is the Guardians of the Galaxy headquarters. It does come with Star-Lord and Groot, so you can see all the little bits and pieces that are going on here. To collect the whole team, you will need to collect the other two sets as well, and those videos are already uploaded and available within this playlist. Now you have got this bit, little bits and pieces on the back. I didn't really pay too much attention to this, but I just wanted the Groot, so I thought they were both both good price points. So I thought I'd do a comparison video of the two, just because they're two tiny, teeny, tiny little sets. So moving on to the sticker sheet for the 7 Plus, you only get the two stickers so it's not too bad you've got obviously got the headquarters symbol up at the top and then you've got this bit on the back which is obviously that one there so you've got one piece on there and you've got another bit across the top you've got a little bag for that and a little bag for that as well so hopefully they might have added in some information with the other sets on here which is always nice if they do because i say that every time but not so much luck with this series now said it a couple of times now uh, recycling packaging so they are going to get rid of these and go to the paper bags very very soon moving on you just go straight in by the looks of it and you open up star lord now it's obviously a little booklet it's at a really good price point actually this one i think this was 5.99 or 7.99 so you get a good good two minifigures with it so it's not too badly priced and that is what that looks like finished it's 41 pages and that is the teeny tiny little things so it'll be interesting to see what this is like in comparison with in regards to what the purples and everything look like there's no information on this one but we go straight into the black panther as well this is marvel studios black panther lego set 76212 it is shiri's lab and you can see the big difference between the two is not only does it obviously say four plus at the bottom in big red i would imagine this piece here will actually be a print rather than a sticker which is always nice to see and you can see you've got some little tools and everything on there but with regards to the sizing i would imagine these would do be quite similar so that's why i wanted to build these both together just because the obviously the gardens you galaxy one is quite small and you can see all the bits and pieces that you get on the back it's got nice box artwork again it's got a push thumb tab on the back which i will rip open in a, in a short second and on the top of this one it's got a one-to-one -one of the black panther whereas it's got a one-to-one -one of the group but with regards to the box sizes of these two they are pretty much the same so the black panther is slightly slightly bigger and the black panther is slightly cheaper i do believe but i would imagine when they're both eight they will be exactly the same price depending on where you get them from so it'll be very very interesting to see just the difference of two so can i rip this open with one thumb no but i will be able to just rip them open so get that out of the way and see what this is all about so there's no sticky sheet it is just one very very big chunky base plate and then we've got two bags as well. So it looks like there's a nice torso print on the minifigure in that bag. So we'll get, look forward to having a good look at that. And we can also compare the minifigures as we go. With regards to the booklet, would it been a four plus? Same on the inside. You've got it telling you what to do. And then again, it gives you the differences on this one. It tells you where to put the pieces in your hands. And then it does that, I think, all the way through. So the instruction booklet looks a little bit thicker than what it should do because on the left-hand side, it tells you the pieces that you need. And then on the right-hand side, it tells you how to put them together. So obviously the booklet could be half the length if it wants to. So in total, there is 61 pages, but there's only obviously half that with regards to the, the amount that you need to actually put it together. It does have a moving element as well. So you will push that down and that bit does drop back through by the looks of it. And then the very, very last step to add those final pieces on is page 50 nine does it actually give you the step numbers no so again that's something slightly different on this it just gives you the pages rather than the steps so that is the size of that booklet and that is the size of the garden to galaxy right there we go so that's the first set done and built obviously it comes with the two minifigures and it's got this little bit itself so we get those out of the way and have a look at this first I'm quite impressed with this as a thing because it's got the two stickers on there which don't really look like stickers at all when you get them on nailed the color is very very close to the purple to the purple you have got storage for the two two tools that does open up as a flap and then you can create a curve and also your minifigures can stand on there as well. Now this thing's a pretty cool build because on the back here, that's how you put that together. So you've got this piece on the top, that is actually just held in by that one piece. So this actually moves up and down on its doodah. 
and then you just ram that in and then slide it back in. So that is a that is a pretty cool looking thing. You just got to sort of guide him, guide him back in, and then he's he's on. The light it does not light up. It's not a light brick. I made that very very clear that I didn't like the fact that on the artwork it's got a light on there where it's not. So that obviously would have been a seven plus set, and in that price point that does not light up whatsoever. With regards to the bits and pieces on the back, it's just a plain. Plain bit on the back, you can obviously do some bits and pieces to it if you want to, so you can pick and choose the things that you want to do with it. Now, I like the fact that they've made this a little bit more technical, obviously I've not quite put that back on correctly, that should be over by another stud. This, on the other hand, I don't like this, only because, well, they're just going to keep falling off. The cup is on the, on the side, but they don't give you any pieces to keep them on stationary. You just actually place them on the table, so there's no way, bearing in mind this is obviously for a 7 Plus, that they are going to stay in within this set for a couple of days i'm going to lose these straight away so i'm going to get some of the clips and just clip them on i think so i was quite surprised that they've made it technical ish for that bit but then this bit they've just thrown them thrown them on which i think is a bit of a bit of a letdown it was only missing two pieces and you could have stopped them from falling off the table now star lord he does come with one the new spaceship as well and that ship i will link to the end of this video i have built all of the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Lego sets, so they are all available within the unboxing playlist, so if you want to hunt them down as well. Every single minifigure, apart from Groot, comes in these outfits, and I won't spoil it for you, but one of them does have a silver arm, so hunt that video down. But you can see with regards to all of the bits and pieces that you've got on here, this torso is exactly the same. This is the same figure that comes with this as it does come with the brand new ship, the really bright teal and pink. And it obviously does come with his two blast weapons. And on to Groot. You can see with Groot, he's got the green up at the top and he's got the sort of more ivy based on here. This, I think this is slightly different to the Groot you get given in the Guardian's ship for the orange one. I think this is slightly different for that. So there's some nice i think i think i think i think i think his head might be a little bit bigger it feels like it's a little bit bigger i don't know if it's just a bigger head mold or what it could be miles off but i will do a full comparison video once the film gets released in the uk so we can actually have a better look at all of them but the big difference is obviously it comes with his shoulder pads this is a, an accessory that you actually get a spare of as well so if you end up for whatever reason wanting to use this on another group you can do so he can then put them on so obviously that either is his battle armor or it's something so it's giving away something within the film but what it is i do not know I've just grabbed the group from the orange spaceship. Now, they might look the same, but I was right. This one on the left is the newer one from this set, and he is slightly taller. So it's a slightly taller version. Not too sure if that's just because his head is on that piece, though. So if I bring that down, it then might become like for like. But his head piece does feel slightly bigger. No, it is still, it is still ever so slightly bigger. And the front... The facial is completely different as well. So this is the one from the Orange Guardian ship. So this, this is already out and done for the unboxing of that one. The actual torso print of the two, they are very, very similar. But if you look at the trainers, so the boots, it's slightly darker on the new one than it is on the old one. The biggest difference, though, is the head and the actual facial expression. So moving on to the Black Panther set, for a 4 plus set, it holds its own. Now, we'll get those and everything out of the way. We'll get that out of the way. We'll start with this. Now, this thing is vicious and violent. You feed this through, and then the power that this thing comes out of is ridiculous. And obviously, it then just knocks that bit over, depending on the angle that you get it at. And then that is designed just to fall back. So you get three... Three shooters, and that is one big piece for your targets. You can see there, you've got all, all the different targets and obviously the information. You've got all these different sort of trans pieces on the side, so we've got all the translucent bits. And then even onto the tools and the weapons, you've got a very nice little easy way of just putting the clear bit on a nice big clip over the shield and it comes over so that's just a nice translucent sort of purple and it comes with that vicious thing as well for a four plus set so you've got another another weapon on that side so you've got a little bit of a selection with regards to where you want to put them so obviously you can stand them about and do whatever it is you want to do the actual little vehicle thing that you build it's just in a couple of pieces so you've got the bit on the back you add the four wheels and then you've got the two bits at the top and then these are just larger pieces so that way you don't have to worry about anybody swallowing anything but i don't obviously that is just part of this set this is obviously nothing really to do with the actual film whatsoever but it is nice it's got some play play features now onto the actual minifigures they both look really really nice like they always seem to do in the four plus sets this has a lovely amount of silver going on you can see you've got all the silver on the mask and then you've got all the silver on the torso as well and you've got like the little horn bits up at the top and then across the back you've got a huge amount of silver 
on the back of the head. You've even got some engraving on the back just at the top, so if that's not coming through, there's loads of different letters on there. And then you've got lots of silver again on the back, and then you've got all of the teeth and everything on the necklace across the back. Legs don't have any print on the front or back, they're just plain off to the arm, there's no arm print either. But the actual deco on the head is very very impressive and then you've got quite a lot going on on the torso as well now on to her she has a lot going on you can see how she's got her nice weapons you've got the trans purple again so that's a really nice color and they're just big things that she holds on to for both both arms so they're a cool looking thing now we take her hair piece off she i think has two facial expressions again so if you were to buy these figures separately they would actually cost more than what the set is so that's something to something to consider and think of really nice print on the front you've got the nice orange sorry the the gold belt and you've got the nice little torso bit on the inside and you've got all the lines and everything on there and again you've got the nice blue detail and then you've got all of the facial sort of print and texture across the eyebrows and, and across the cheek and then you've got the grumpy version as well and you can see you've got some bits and pieces going on with the chin and then that wraps around all the way to the sides so you can see you've got more sort of different colored on the skin tone and makeup and everything and that's on both sides just underneath the head and with the front again it looks really really nice and gold and the hair piece is a massive massive hair piece one big thing and it just clips yourself on and that is what that looks like and that is what they both look like side by side. And there's not too much difference between the two with regards to the size. You can see, starting with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 set, you can see it comes with too many figures. It actually comes with accessories. It comes with the tools and everything like that as well. And with regards to the studdage that it takes up, it's very, very similar to the 4 Plus set, which is the Black Panther. And this, I think the base on this one is slightly bigger. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. I really do like the purple from the Guardians. And obviously this does come with the two stickers, whereas that one is just a complete print. So you can just see how it steps up from the 4 to the 7 Plus. And obviously there's a slight difference with both instruction manuals as well this has the individual bit for the tools that one obviously the weapons this has the tools on the left hand side the only one that is a bit weird is that they will just fall off so you are going to lose them unless you put them in one of the little clip holders and obviously again you can do that with the spare the spare weaponry that it comes with but they all come with extra bits and pieces in case anything goes missing so this one comes with the three discs that comes with an extra, extra little bits and pieces as well but let us know in the comments below what you like two stickers to the print everything like that but that is it guys i am done so if you can like subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and i'll check you in the next one Ta da